That would be a bad cam position sensor. If you notice the slip VDC off and service engine soon lights are on. If I pulled the codes, it would show a code for a uh, bad uh, cam sensor. And uh, so let's get to fixing that. Okay, the symptoms of a bad uh, cam position sensor is um, when you turn the vehicle on, you'll see the service engine soon light will stay on, the uh, slip light will stay on, the VDC off light will stay on the entire time you're, you're driving. So, uh, easy way to diagnose which uh, cam position sensor it is, is just get yourself one of these Bluetooth modules that go on the OBD port. So down here under the car, right up here, just plug that in, the lights will come on and then I'll read the, uh, you can read the codes through the OBD port. All right, so I have this app on my phone, it's called Torque. And in here you can go and you can check the fault codes. You need to show logged fault codes, which for some reason, last time I checked it, this fault code wasn't showing up as a logged fault code. Um, down here it says no fault codes, codes stored in the ECU. But if I go to uh, fault codes and then go show to pending fault codes, this one shows up for some reason. I'm not sure why that is, but it will show here P0340, and you can click on that and a camshaft, camshaft position sensor A circuit bank one. So that's bank one. So bank one is the uh, is the passenger side of a G35. That's the bank that uh, starts with uh, cylinder one, one, three, and five are on the right as you're sitting in the car. And so now we'll go out and we'll see how to change that sensor. All right, so looking at the car, is the engine so the passenger side back here is where we'll find that position sensor so right down here you'll see this green connector that green connector right there is the cam position sensor I'll show you what it looks like here is the cam position sensor so this is what it looks like. It's installed in the back of the car like this. There's a 10 millimeter bolt on the back, so it should be fairly easy to change out. You don't have to take anything off the car. And uh, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so down here, what we're looking at, we're trying to get is this 10 millimeter bolt right there, back behind here. Now this, end here is a ratcheting end but it won't fit around it because there's not enough clearance not enough clearance on the side of that bolt to get around it so what I have got to do is I've got to uh, use use the other end and get it around there so it's gonna take a while to uh, unscrew that and pop it off but we'll uh, we'll make it work so you reach down here with your 10 millimeter and get it on there. Righty tighty lefty lease seat. And you take it off. You have to kind of break it loose at first, but then once you get it going, it should be fairly easy. All right. So you can reach your hand down in here. And there's not much room to get a shot, but you can fit your, your fingers on. Once you get it started, the bolt will come out fairly easy and you can take it off with your finger. So there's the bolt. So we'll set that aside. And now you can pull the, the cam position sensor to just pull out from the back. So. So, 
here it is attached to the clip still so no big deal and we'll just take the clip off the clip is one of these that on the back you got this you push you push in here and so my thumb is pushing in right here push in on the back there we go and it'll snap once you get it right it'll snap forward and then you can pry the sensor off of the wiring harness. out all right now you get this empty wiring harness back here and it's an easy job just to uh, take the new one and it'll only go in one way and you take the new one and you connect it up So it goes in like this. There's a little there's a tab on the back. And so that goes. There we go. Make sure you snap it into place you'll feel it snap and now that is connected so you gotta reach underneath and push it back into that hole you have to wiggle it a little bit there we go and then you'll kind of feel it snap into place. There's a rubber O-ring around the new sensor. So you'll feel it snap into place. All right, when you feed the, when you feed the uh, sensor back in from the back, um, make sure it's the, the bolt hole is lined up with the one on the car. You can reach your hand down here. I know my hand's blocking the shot now, but what I'm feeling is I'm feeling that little the bolt um, hole extension on the sensor and it's flush I'm feeling it flush with the engine right here so you kind of have to twist it you twist it um, towards you so the sensor the green cap there is kind of angling out towards me as I'm standing on the car side of the car so it's not perfectly level um, with the ground it's angled towards the passenger side of the car and that way the bolt hole will line up and then you can reach your hand down here and put the bolt in and now I'll just get my 10 millimeter and I'll tighten that down it was easier for me to get this quarter inch ratchet in there it's got an angle bit on it so 10 millimeter with a u-joint on there and that fit in nice I was able to snake that in there and then get it uh, get that 10 millimeter bolt nice and tight so it should fire right up now that we changed that so let's test that out The service engine light is still on what we can do is we can go into our torque app and we can clear the codes and make sure it doesn't come back so I'm going to turn the car off
turn the car off and on my torque app here I'll go into fault codes and then clear logged faults even though that wasn't showing up as a logged fault I'll clear them all out and then if I go into fault codes show pending faults it should say no pending fault code stored in ECU down at the bottom here and now when I start it up it should the engine service engine light um, surface engine soon light should go out there we go no more light fixed the car starts up nice and quick and uh, doesn't uh, doesn't take a while to crank and that's fixed so that's uh, how you fix the uh, camshaft position sensor at least the passenger side one on a uh, 2003 Infiniti G35.